class, today we're going to be learning about simple interest and how to find it, okay? So simple interest is money paid by the bank for money in your savings account, okay? So you, when you go to a bank and you put in money, they will give you simple interest in order for you to keep your money there and you'll keep adding on money to your account. So for example, interest rate is a percent or percentage rate on money in your savings account. So for example, if a bank were to give you a 6% rate for every dollar you had, you'd get 6 cents, okay? So that means if you had a dollar in here, at 6% interest, that means you would get a dollar and 6 cents, right? Because technically 6% is can also be written as a decimal, 0 0.06, and when we multiply that by 1, we get 0 0.06. So it would be a dollar, 0 0.06 added on, okay? Uh, and then the principal, which is the base amount, the base or original amount you had. So in this example here, our base amount is a dollar because that's what we started with, right? So let's say if we had $100, in our account, a hundred would be our base or our principal, so we will label that P. And let's keep our six percent. So let's say our rate is six percent, so it's still at six percent, which is also known as zero point zero six. And our rate can be R. Okay, so we're going to look at this as R. A hundred dollars at six percent is going to give us six dollars. So our simple interest is $6, okay? That's how much we're getting for keeping $100 with our bank account, okay? And if we wanted to know our total balance, we would have to add 106 together. So our total, whoops, plus six, is $100 or $106, okay? So, when we look at this, our formula would be our interest, right? So we're looking for simple interest, and our principal is our base, like we said before. It's our base, it's our original, it's what we put into the bank, okay? Our rate is our percent, depending on what percent the bank wants to give us. And now our time, when we look at time and how much interest builds, we look at it in years, all right? We want to know the number of years it's been in the bank, all right? So years is a good thing to remember. So now for this example, right, we said P was principal, R was rate, and T will be time, all right? So in our example, there's $100 at 4% interest for two years. For when we're looking for our interest, we take our principal, which we said is our base, which is $100, right? We go, okay, $100, and we're multiplying it, right? We multiply it by the rate, which is 4%. But we don't want it in a percent, we want it in decimal form, right? So that means we have 0 0.04, we move it 2 to the left. And then we multiply that by time in years, which it gives us in years. It's two years, okay? So we multiply this out. This here becomes four, multiplied by two is eight dollars. So we got eight dollars interest for two years at a hundred dollars for four percent. Now if we wanted to know our total or our final balance, right? Because now we're gonna look for final balance. Right? We're going to have to take our base, or our principal, right? We take our base, so $100, Oops. It's 100. Um, and this is going to be our principal, and we add on our interest, which is $8. We just found that out. Our interest is $8. So we add on $8, which is also our interest, and we get our final balance. Now, 100 plus 8 is $108. Okay, 
Okay, so that's how we would find the final balance. We take our base plus our interest and we add them up. Okay. So now in this next question, how much simple interest would you receive on $1,200 at 5% interest over two years? Well, if you think back to the formula we just learned about, right? Interest is equal to our principal or our base times our rate times our time, right? How much time it is in years, okay? So our base is what? Well, it says right here, you receive, you have $1,200, right? So now we have our interest is equal to 1,200 times our rate, right here, 5%. We turn it into a decimal, don't forget. So 0 0.05 times our years. What's this here, right here? Two years. So we multiply that by two, okay? We add these together and we should get 60. Or multiply, sorry, not add. We multiply these together and we should get 60. Um, and then we still have to multiply by 2, right? So we multiply by 2, and we get $120, all right? But that's over two years, like we said. And this is our interest. So this, our I, right here, $120. That's how much we made for putting it in this bank for two years, okay? Now, in order to find our final balance, right, what is our final? Well, like it, we said before, we take our base, which we said is right here. We take our base, $1,200, and we add on our interest, which is what we just found right there. So we add on $120. We add these together. We get $1,320. That's how much money we have in our bank account. Okay? So this is how you find the final. This is how you find interest, okay? All right, so now I want you guys to pause the video, look at this problem, and then try and figure out what your steps are. What would the equation be looking at this problem? So take a few moments and do that. All right, so this problem reads, find the final balance in your bank account if you had $150 at 4% simple interest for eight years. So we think back to our equation. What is our equation for interest? We need our principal or our base times our rate multiplied by the time, how long it's been in the bank, okay? So our principal is right here. It says right here we have $150 in our bank account. So we take $150, multiply it by our rate, which is 4%. But we want this in decimal form. So that means it's 0 0.04 multiplied by how long it's been in there for years. Well, it says right here, eight years. So we multiply that by eight. These two, when multiplied, give us six. Don't forget to multiply by eight, and we get forty-eight dollars. All right, that's how much we've made in eight years. Now, this might not seem like a lot, but since we started off with one hundred and fifty, that's quite a bit. Now, if we wanted to find our final balance, right? We're looking for our final here. We take our base. We said it's 150. 150. We add on our interest, right? Well, we just did it. Our interest is right here. So we add on $48 and we get $198 total. So this is how much is in our bank account after eight years. We went from 150 to 198, okay? Now in this problem, we want to find the balance in the account, and you can round your calculations to the nearest cent, okay? So, again, we think back to our equation, right? Now by now, we should see, it says right here, $200 right away. It's $200, so that should be our principal right away, or our base. $200, okay? Now our rate, right here, it says it's 5%, but we have to remember decimal form, okay? It's very important to keep in decimal form because if you 
multiply it by five, you're going to get a much bigger number than you would if you were multi multiplying it by 0 0.05, okay? And now our time in years, it says right here, three years. So we multiply it by three, okay? So we multiply by this up. This should equal 10, and then you multiply it by three, and we get $30. Remember to keep your um, units, which is dollars. So keep your units. And now we need to find the final, right? What is our final bank account? How much money do we have in our bank, right? So now again, we want to remember it's the principal or our base, our original amount we put in, and we add on the interest we've made over the years, okay? So we said before, our principal is right here. It's $200, right? $200. And we just found our interest, which is right here, right? Oops. Right here. So we add on $30. And then our total, when we add it together, is $230. Okay? So this would be our final balance. We started off with $200 at a 5% rate for three years. So we multiplied those together, but the percent is in decimal form. We got our interest, and then we took the interest and we added it back on to our principal in order to get our final bank account. This is how much money we have in it right now after three years, okay? I think that was the last bit. Yep, so now um, you either want to get working on your Khan Academy or you can start working on your Google Form.